Today we're here at Motor Bros in El Cachobi, Florida. We're testing and tuning bikes, and this is a prime example of why you need to have a map tuner nano with you at the track all the time. The customer was riding the bike at the track, and he complained that the bike has started losing power, cutting out, fogging down, pulled up into the tank, and the FI light's flashing. Now we're gonna plug in the nano, and it's gonna tell us exactly what's going on. So now I'm gonna walk you through the installation and hookup of the nano. It's very easy, all you gotta do is take the seat off, locate your communication ports, 23 models only, red, 22 before, 24 and after are gonna be natural clear plastic collar. Plug in your connector, the bike's gonna power up, you're gonna see the map switch buttons light up. Plug in your map tuner nano, now you get your phone out, and we're gonna pull up the app. Map Tuner app. Okay, once you've established the connection to the bike, added the vehicle to the Nano, you go to My Vehicles, make sure the VIN number that shows up, it's the VIN number on your frame. So now the vehicle's been successfully added to your database. Go back to the main dashboard, and now we're gonna check service to see what fault codes we're having on the bike. Remember, we had an FI light flashing and the bike was running rough. Read. There you go. You got all this going on with this bike. All right, what I like to do at this point is I like to take a screen capture of this, so that way it's saved to my photos. Then I can go back to it and review what was going on. At this point, I want to go through the bike and check for obvious reasons of why it would be throwing codes like this. Loose connectors, broken connectors, broken wires, uh, loose battery bolts. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to clear the codes, and we're going to read the codes again to see if we have existing codes after we check everything. Now I'm going to clear the codes and read the codes again and see if they're still pending. If you have codes that still pop off after you clear the codes, then that's what you want to go look into. So we're going to clear the codes. All right, so after I clear the codes, I click read codes again, and it keeps giving me a throttle precision sensor code. This means that this code is still active on this motorcycle. We're going to look at the throttle precision sensor, connector, terminals, wiring, and always remember to check your battery bolts as well. Loose battery terminals will create fault codes from time to time. So let's check all that out and see what we can find. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the throttle position sensor area. To get a better view on this four-stroke bikes, you wanna remove the engine hanger on the left side so you can see the throttle body, take the little throttle body plate cover off, and then you can access the throttle position sensor from there. So let's take this out first. Now we take the throttle body cover plate off. We're gonna disconnect the throttle position sensor so we can take a look at the terminals, make sure there's no corrosion. So this is what I found. There's a lot of corrosion inside the throttle position sensor terminals. That's very common on these bikes. Good for power washing, yeah. water gets in there, mud gets in there, and it starts corroding. We're gonna clean the terminals, we're gonna put it back on and see what happens. After you clean the terminals with some 716, make sure all the corrosion has been removed, you plug it back in. Now we're gonna connect the nano again, read the codes, and see what happens. Now you wanna access the main dashboard on your Map Tuner Nano app again. Go to the service tab, fault codes, read the codes. Okay, that's our previous throttle position sensor code. Let's clear the code. Now we're gonna read the code again. And that's exactly what we wanted to find. The fault code's gone, problem solved. Now we're gonna take the bike for a test drive.
All right, you're all set. So what I found is the throttle position sensor had corrosion in it. Okay, so be careful when you wash the bike, you power wash it, try to stay away from that area. Your FI light is gone. Fire it up, take it for a ride, let me know, okay? All right. You're good. You're good. You're good. As you see here now, FI light's gone, everything back to normal. Bike running perfect, ready to go.